G'day guys, so I've got a Surface Book 2 keyboard here that I'm opening up to check out the battery. I have had it on my blue heat pad here at 80 degrees for a bit and it is very warm to the touch. I have peeled these off, which did come off relatively easily. It did bend slightly in the middle on this one. It didn't break it, but yeah. Anyway, so I've peeled those off and now I'm up to the next step of trying to figure out how to get inside of this as I do believe the battery is bloated in this one. So I'm hoping I don't have to delve too far into this. But we'll find out, I guess. I'm hoping I can use one of these holes to lift it up to be able to get into it. That's what I lift. It is very stubborn. Which is definitely one thing I did hear about it prior to getting one. Was how stubborn this keyboard was. I can just get a corner to lift. I can commence from there. No. That started it for me. So a thin metal pryer tool. And I'm going to spray some alcohol down there. Or isopropyl alcohol. And that looks to have started it for me. It is requiring a ridiculous amount of force though. And as I say that, now I'm in. Just put a thin amount on there and just keep prying. So as with most adhesives, the isopropyl alcohol certainly does help. Spray some on the tool itself. There That's working better. Down the other side as well. Now we'll just put it on the heat pad again, just for a little bit. So I'm gonna set it back down now for around about five minutes. Hopefully make this a bit easier to open. And I'm gonna use my little pizza cutter wheel. Well, that's what I describe it as. Okay, the pizza cutter side of it's no good, but the other side is. It's 
Still extremely stuck. I can definitely see why this got such a low rating on iFixit. Move my hand out of the way. As it does seem like it's going to hurt that. Keep going, keep going. There we go. There we go. And we are now in with a great big battle. Here. I'm going to disconnect a bit. As I am suspecting that it's this component here that has failed, as it is refusing to charge. Anyway, that is one performance base that I didn't actually expect it to be. So I'm quite happy with that, as long as this isn't faulty. Anyway, that will do for the teardown as I wanted to get into the battery and I've managed to get in there with reasonably minimal damage. Anyway, that will do for now and I'll see you guys later. Bye.